Okay, folks, I found this abandoned um, in, a, in a box, um, in a public place. Uh, let's see if we can make this turn up a treat. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have here, American Dad. I don't know this show. Um, it's probably because it was in America, not fucking Australia. Don't get me wrong, America will always be my sister country, uh, second to Australia. Basically, I, I love America, even though I don't agree with a lot of the things over there, but, you know, I still still a sister country and I was born on, in Guam on American soil so I'm an Australian and American dual citizen and I look forward one day to doing business with America because one day I want to redesign the photocopier from scratch and the photocopier was the first um, plain paper or should I say the first toner based photocopiers that were commercialized were in the US by Xerox and I've always loved the, the culture of uh, the Xerox machine in America. I, I was a real Xerox fan for a while because yeah they were the first company to manufacture uh, photocopiers as we know it. Even this photocopier was a descendant. But the thing is the photocopier industry to be honest folks I see it as being full of shit. It's not the same as it used to be, uh, but basically, yeah, I really would like to go down under. Yeah, down under, I want to travel down under in Australia, but I want to travel in the US as well, and I want to be able to um, go to the US to travel and yeah, to check out places like uh, New York of all things. New York is the com is. I used to call it Land of the Zero. I called America Land of the Xerox Machine. Uh, but basically, uh, New York was where it was all happening. And photocopier art was very popular in the US back in the 1970s. And I really, that's where I got my appreciation, as apart from being, a, being born on American soil and being proud of it. Uh, but don't get me wrong, I'll always call Australia home. You know, folks, you know, I'll always be first and foremost an Australian, but I do love America as well. And that's come up looking really quite interesting. Um, maybe I'll move it up a bit. But one day I'd like, when they have technology to fix the brain damage at birth um, that I had when I was born, I want to um, redesign the photocopier from scratch. And I want to re make the photocopier a lot better than what it's become because these days it's all about making quick money. They don't care about you or I or the industry. And I would like, like to... Um, yeah, to redesign the photocopier and make it Australian owned and Australian made, Australian designed. But of course I want to do, do business with the US and have, have a headquarters in, in the US, in New York, which would be really nice. 
so I really would like to um, do that. I don't know which way I want to do this, uh, which way this is going to go. Looks really interesting anyway, folks. So yeah, the photocopier had its origins, or its commercialised origins in the US, and that's why I really love America, uh, because of the uh, tradition, the history of the photocopier, and I like also like, um, I'm also fascinated by neon signs and lights and shit, city lights, street lights and shit, so there'd be a lot of really good stuff to see if I can go on a holiday there take some pictures and videos so these are our mirrored pieces of our American Dad DVD yeah they probably got rid of it because DVDs have given way to the likes of uh, Netflix um, yeah. and that's come up looking really quite interesting I do wonder if maybe I should maybe do a switcheroo folks maybe do a switcheroo with this might look better But yeah, I'd love to go to America with my partner Luigi, who I really miss. I don't know where he is. I'm trying to get on the 6 o'clock news on Channel 9 with what I'm doing here at the photocopier. And it's really proving difficult to get my stuff out there on the news. The 6 o'clock news on Channel 9. I just repeated myself. Sorry, folks. But yeah, I'm trying to get in touch with him. I want to go to, go to New York with him. And yeah, that's kind of, I think, even better, or probably just as good. I think we can now call this demo quits.